All right, welcome to our daily community meditation. So lately I've been thinking a lot about the Holy Spirit. Just how we've been given this amazing gift of the Holy Spirit to, to lead us, to guide us, to teach us, to remind us of everything Jesus has said to us. So many things. And one of the things that he's here to help us to do is to pray. Is to pray in accordance with the will of God. Romans chapter 8, verses 26 and 27. It says, in the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We don't know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans, and he, search, and he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. This is just a pretty amazing thought to think about. The Holy Spirit is interceding for us helping us to pray what we need to pray. He's interceding us, helping us to pray in accordance with God's will, to help us get in alignment with that. And so we're going to take communion over this today. This is a time of gratitude. And we've been given this amazing gift of the Holy Spirit. And we're going to be asking the Holy Spirit to help us to pray, that he would just pray through us the things that need to be prayed in accordance with God's will. Let's get started with our daily prayer, and then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them, and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of Jesus. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed. Also that you could be on the side, that you could be fighting for us. And so I just keep asking that you would help us to know you more and more. To know all that you've made available for us, all that Jesus did for us. To know more about this gift that you've given us in the Holy Spirit and to know the Holy Spirit more and all that he's been sent here to help us with. I ask you to bless us. To make your face shine upon us. Let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us so that we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal. And do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Heavenly Father, we're just asking for you to help us to just know more and more about the Holy Spirit. All that he's been sent here to do. Holy Spirit, we're asking for your help that you would pray through us. The things that need to be prayed, even though we don't know what to pray sometimes. That you would help us to get in alignment with God's will, everything that he has for us. And we thank you the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread and he said, this is my body. Broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. I just thank you that we get this opportunity today to remember. That through the sacrifice of Jesus, we get to be one with you. He was bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed. The cup of your wrath was poured onto his body full strength. So that we could be right with you. And I just thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. I just thank you that we get to have this covenant relationship with you. 
So I thank you for this this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our juice. All right, let's talk about some health and fitness tips. Because I think physical exercise is meant to teach us how to exercise our faith. We've been talking about some application of this. In both the New Testament and Old Testament, the word that's translated as spirit is also linked to breathing or breath. Which is a reminder for us to just be coordinating our, our movement and our breathing together. We want our movement to be led by our breathing. To be led by the Spirit. And it's interesting. I was talking with somebody about this the other day. And he was talking about how when he started focusing on his breathing. He was doing just body weight squats. When he started focusing on his breathing. Inhaling as he went down into the squat. Exhaling through the mouth on the way up. All of a sudden some of the aches and pains he was having in the squat went away. When he started aligning his movement and his breathing. And so in a similar way, I think a lot of some of the aches and pains that we have just in life, the things that push our buttons in life, when we get our movement and our breathing in line, we get our led by the spirit. It takes away some of that forcing, that effort, that discomfort. But keep remembering God is with you. He loves you and nothing is impossible for him.